so my friends are currently checking out Max's new car. <laughs> Max! What have you done? He's traded in the XR8. Yeah, it's just a daily. It's just a substitute. That's all that is. What are you doing, mate? You can fit so many chops Jesus. in this baby. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's oh, nothing so in that room. Like again. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hey, take it easy on $450 car, mate. That's it. <laughs> It's like when you used to do that thing with your rulers back in high school. Oh, yeah, at the end of the table. <laughs> so guys, this right here is Max's new car, and you guys are going to see someone new on the channel. Jacob! Jacob is now my new roommate. He's just moved up from New South Wales, and he's going to be hopping with all the stuff on the car. And, yeah, he's yep. camera shy at the moment, though. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the first time I've been on a vlog. Third, second time. Second time. Third time. Second. I love this new camera. It's not even focusing on my hand, but that's alright. Anyway, Max, tell us about the new beast. Well, it's good on fuel, 20 Is bucks, it? and you're set. For how long? Um, well, it's on over half a tank now. Yeah, give her a rev, mate. Let's hear this exhaust note. Hey, you have to move. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> the life. I reckon all old cars oh, like sharp. this all smell the exact same. I think they all just have an odour to them. They do, don't they? Yeah. It's like Old lady perfume mixed with plastic cold air. That's it, cold air. My electric well. gets so cold it drips water. What about you? Yeah, because we own FG, so it drips into the. <laughs> no, mine drips on my knee. Really? Well, Ours drips into the foot wash. Oh, yours, yours Every stage. single time you turn yeah. a fast corner in the FG, you end up with a wet foot. With a wet foot. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> useless. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. I like it. So, how much did you pay? Yeah. Four fifty. Four fifty. That was with the Rego and Roadie. Yeah, but easy done. You guys should have been in Ikea. We did the oh. best puns. We have to take you in a, another trip to Ikea, I think. I think we need to go. Yeah, definitely. With sure. the best puns in the history of the world. All right, enjoy this little camera montage thing. So anyway, we're gonna go for a little drive in uh, in Max's. Hey, what engine's in this one, bro? So, no, 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 we're talking about Tim. What engine's in this? Is it a supercharged V6 Barra? No, it's a V4, mate. V4 Barra. Yeah, but Twin turbocharged. No, it's actually more comfy than my FG. It's more comfy than mine. Yeah, because yours is sitting on the brakes. Was that full brakes? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it, Max. We've got like a oh, Give it a pull, Max. Give it a pull. <laughs> that is. Oh, far out. That is 70k's an hour. Oh, I couldn't breathe. Jeez. Don't go that fast. Oh, Max, you're gonna kill me. Hey, handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. Fuck, really? Ah! No, it doesn't weigh. Oh, rip. I mean, screw, screw. <laughs> no, it doesn't weigh. Holy moly! <laughs> oh, oh, that's 300. <laughs> that's crazy. I'll just speed up the footage. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is beautiful. Yeah, best uh, 450 bucks I spent. Yeah, definitely. And my retro will cost me 370 dollars. So when are we paddock bashing this? That sounds so fun. We'll take the Elantra and this. You wanna go for me? <laughs> uh, I'd rather have a functional car that I can get to and from work. Yeah, you, you. Yeah, yeah what's wrong with the U? Yeah, but that costs fuckloads to drive to work every day. Yeah, no, but this is a project. You've got the use a daily now. Not when you're Max Money Clark. <laughs> yeah, good joke. Max Money. <laughs> Radio right Maxi. Am I seeing you both tomorrow? Catch you later, mate. Alrighty, here we go. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Max. That car does not suit him at all, does it? No, it doesn't. Yes, definitely. Look how cute it is. <laughs> I love it. 
Anyway guys, today's video, I know I haven't done this in a very long time and I've actually had my exhaust done for a very long time as well. But I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about what's done to the exhaust in this car. A lot of you guys have been asking about it and I just haven't made a video on it. And I got Jacob here to film me as well. So, yes. So as I said before, Jacob's now going to be in all my videos or pretty much most of my videos, which is going to be wicked. Um, he knows a lot about cars, a lot more than me, so you guys can stop hassling me about not the knowing. The V6 Barra Turbo. The V6 Barra Turbo supercharged? Barra Turbo supercharged. Definitely. With, um, with a 400 uh, dog power and look, it's got, it's got drum brakes in the front. It does too. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know the Falcons actually came out with drum brake standard. Yeah, they come out with drum brake standard. It's uh, crazy. You, you've had a, you've had a, uh, a disc swap by the looks of it. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Front it's crazy. And um, and also this one here is the uh, this one here is the intercooled model as well. Oh yeah, um, Sam. It's, it's yeah, got Sam intercooler it. from factory actually. Yeah. They actually have intercoolers really from weird factory. For Falcon. Yeah. Weird for Falcons, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Sam. I feel bad for him now. <laughs> No, we're just joking guys. Um, if you guys are new, this right here is my FGX S6 Turbo. Um, I'll quickly show you guys under the bonnet to actually show you guys that it is actually a XL6 Turbo. And not just my old NA, which you guys have seen in the actual videos. Actually, Jacob hasn't seen the intercooler piping yet. I haven't seen the beautiful Ant's Performance intercooler Ooh, Ant's Performance. What was that? Where can you find Ant's Performance? Uh, I actually don't know. Ant'sPerformance.com.au, I'm assuming? Uh, that's correct. And you also, if you use the code zack 3 you also get a little bit of a discount on all the stuff you get off their website. So how good's that? Awesome. How much do you want to buy stuff from Ant's Performance right now? Oh, at least a 7 out of 5. I feel you, I feel you. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the XR6 Turbo and uh, I'm going to quickly explain what I've done to the exhaust. So I'm just going to quickly let you guys know now that I've actually been through a couple of exhausts on this car already. Um, I went through a uh, three and a half inch X-Force exhaust. Were you around for that at all? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that couldn't get fitted. <laughs> that's it. The one I couldn't get fitted in this car whatsoever. It was horrid. And that's when you guys saw the absolutely amazing uh, straight pipe video through Brisbane, which is possibly the worst video on my channel, but also has 80,000 views. So thank you very much, YouTube algorithm. But um, yeah, so this right here now, I've got rid of the three and a half inch X4 system and went with a fully fabricated uh, quad tip exhaust. Now, I don't know if you guys can see up and underneath this right now. Uh, nope, not at all. I will show you guys pictures of uh, what's actually been done to it already. So what's actually been done to this system, I actually reached out to a good mate of mine, Dan, from Elite Exhaust and Fabrication up in Brenda. And he was the one that did the full exhaust on this car, well not full exhaust. What I did pretty much was I cut it straight after the rear, um, straight over the cradle. And it's actually a fully stock system, all the way from the dump back, fully stock. Um, so it still has a stock bed muffler, still has a stock cat, still has a stock dump. Um, and then what I've done is I pretty much chopped it off straight after the diff and uh, just fabricated uh, a two and a half inch split, uh, which goes out to two hot dogs and then to a quad tip exhaust. Oh and then goes out to quad tip, uh, quad tip tips. <coughs> now these tips here are three and a half inch um, all the way around, which is awesome. And then he's also cut uh, this side of the exhaust, no, this side of the diffuser as well to fit the other two tips in there. And I think that it looks absolutely mad. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try and keep this video uh, really short and sweet and just try to show you guys some clips. I don't have any way of actually doing this, but um, yeah, let's see how good I can get the clips. You're probably just going to hear more turbo than anything, but... Alrighty. Are you ready? Alright, so, just letting you guys know right now that this exhaust here actually isn't uh, as loud as what other people would want. I am more about turbo than anything. I love listening to my turbo. And so this exhaust here was actually perfect for me, um, considering I daily drive this thing, I didn't want it to drone at all, and it's just perfectly smooth. Um, when I get high up in the rev range, it's actually really nice, but between two to 3,000 RPM, it's actually insanely quiet. Um, at the moment, you probably can't even hear it on the camera, but um, it's extremely smooth, and I'll give you guys a quick rev. It is warm, because we did drive it here, so it's all right. It's actually pretty loud when you get up there, but apart from that, it's man. So yeah, the whole goal for this car pretty much was to pretty much make it into my ultimate daily driver. Um, considering at the moment, I, uh, 
I currently can only afford to have one car. I'm gonna get you in this too. Okay. Yeah. Currently, at the moment, I can only afford to have like one car. So yeah, I just, you know, I, I wanted to make this thing not like a cop magnet and not have a straight through turbo exhaust. I wanted to have this thing like decently quiet, and that <coughs> way that Sarah will enjoy it. <laughs> you just did a jump over that. Oh, yeah, the golfers <laughs> did a jump over that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I wanted a I wanted a car that Sarah can enjoy as well because um, we do do a lot of driving in this car. Um, yeah. So this right here is like the perfect amount of just loudness and quietness, if you guys know what I mean. But yeah. Still got the dose in the car, which is nice. Yeah. It's the most important bit. That's it. The camera shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyway, let's go for a cruise. And hopefully you guys can hear it going in the windows. So as I said before guys, you'll probably like only hear mostly turbo sound. <coughs> it's pretty much how I want it. Um, it is fairly deep down low as well, which is good. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll just do it down here as well. <laughs> I love this thing. Squeaky oh my brakes. god, speed bump! Okay, we're good. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. This car actually doesn't scrape on much. No, it doesn't. It's surprising. It's it's decently higher. Yeah. Um, which is good. That's how I want it. This is an everyday driving car. And uh, yeah. Let's see if they let us out. That's a little bit of pops too. So yeah, that is the exhaust at the moment. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be a little bit disappointed in the fact that it's not like disgustingly loud or, you know, it's, it's, it is at the moment what I'm trying to make the ultimate daily driver, which is a little bit difficult considering, you know, I do go to the track fairly often and I do want a loud car, but you know, it just makes so much sense to me at the moment just to keep it nice and decently quiet. And then obviously when you get on it a little bit, you can hear turbo, you can hear blow off. Um, sorry not blow off, you can hear just and it's amazing. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, there is a couple of things I do want to do with it at the moment. I do feel like it's a little bit quiet for how I like it. Um, however, around the city it's perfect. Like it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, just nice and quiet and you know, I, I get there comfortably, safely. The whole cabin doesn't vibrate. It feels really nice. Um, so one, thing is, one of the things I do want to do is I do want to make it a little bit louder for the track. Um, however, I do still want to keep it nice for the street. And one of the things I'm able to do about that is I'm going to create a... Um, I'm going to do a butterfly valve which basically uh, can open and close and bypass the middle muffler completely. Which will basically just be a middle muffler delete. Um, which is still fairly loud, so it'll be a middle muffler delete, uh, stock cat, stock dump. And then also uh, go straight to the hot dogs at the back which will actually sound really nice. Um, one of my mates, Frank Tester, actually has it. Um, if you guys know or remember the uh, Dash Green FG that you guys saw at Aussie Day, the one we went in, um, he has that and actually sounds really nice on the track. It's nice and loud, um, which would be really cool. Um, but yeah, for me at the moment, it actually sounds really nice and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much where I am with the exhaust at the moment. Um, yeah, awesome. 